We're here at the Two Rivers, the home of Centum, and we are celebrating what has been 10 exciting years since James Warrior joined as the CEO of the group at only 30 years old. My name is Paz Mushirimugo, the Managing Director of Nabo Capital, and you're watching Invest in Africa. Suzanne Kilolo, welcome to the show. Thank you, Pius. Fantastic. Just tell us, what exactly do you do for Centum? Well, I had investor relations and strategic comms for the group, and that basically means that I'm responsible for positioning the brand and the story, both to our shareholders, different stakeholders, including regulators, as well as the investment community, both locally and internationally. Wow. So it is then fair for me to say that you are the custodian of the Centum story. In a nutshell, yes. Yeah. yeah. So how would you summarize the last 10 years? Well, I think Centum has grown in leaps and bounds uh, over a very short period of time. Uh, and I think the leadership has had a very key role to play in that space, being mm. able to what I'd call dream and dream in color and not let anything hold them back yeah. and to be able to actually scale. I think if you look at Centum 3.0, that was about scaling the business. Mm. And I think now we're ready to actually monetize and grow at a much faster rate mm. and deepen what we currently have on board. Yeah. So dream. And dream in color. And execute. Execute. Execute at a very fast pace. Yeah. And at all times driving excellence in everything we do. Yeah. I think in a nutshell, that's what Centum has done very well. Yeah. yeah. And what would you say has been behind that success? If you've met James Moria, the first thing that will hit you is his drive for excellence and his passion for Centum and the vision for Centum. And I think that actually cascades all the way down. It's very difficult to be lackluster for lack of a better term in yeah. centum if you have someone who drives a business who's completely uh obsessed with the business the way james is wow obsessed with the business obsessed with the business <laughs> it's not a nine to five monday to friday yes. thing for james he lives and breathes center yeah yeah and you know it just speaks to the mindset of the people the mindset of the leadership and maybe you can help us understand more the mindset uh, of the people within the Centum group. Well, I joined Centum in January of this year and I have worked for different multinationals, both locally and outside of Kenya. But I've never seen, as I said, that focus and that passion that James has and the ability to be able to translate that across leadership for, for the teams. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure if you talk to anyone from even the GT program, it's almost tangible, mm. uh, that particular drive for excellence in everything we do that mm. you can see. Mm. Yeah. So are you saying that James has been able to mutate himself into the, the team? Well, not many me. <laughs> 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 but I think his key focus areas have actually been able to be drilled down to mm. the teams and especially the younger teams who are uh, coming up within the Centum group. Yeah. Yes. So there are so many achievements that uh, we shouldn't even start mentioning them now. Mm -hmm. But which one or two just really stands out for you over the last 10 years? I think where we sit is, is one of those. Um, coming up with a concept like Two Rivers, which is the creation of an urban node, and being able to execute it. Mm -hmm. uh, we are now sitting in the largest uh, mall in East and Central Africa, which came out of a concept. This was, a, I think, a Napier grass farm in the beginning. Uh, I think that's a big deal. And mm -hmm. when you look at the vision, especially for where we sit and what will happen within this 102 acres in the next seven years, mm -hmm. is a fantastic testament uh, mm -hmm. of that visionary drive. Mm -hmm. If you look at Vipingo, again, very ambitious, audacious vision mm -hmm. for 10,250 acres, that's 
piece of land in the next 10 years will be a completely different story. We'll literally have rewritten the history and the landmarks of that particular place. So mm. I think those are the big things that I see within Centum. Mm. And again, across the other businesses, we've got our private equity that has performed extremely well in everything they've done. In all their exits, we've seen them prove again and again and reiterate our successful track record. Mm. And even looking at Nabo Capital and what you've done for Centum's groups, um, marketable securities portfolio where you've beat the market over and over mm -hmm. is a testament to what I keep going back to that drive mm -hmm. and that pursuit for excellence in everything mm -hmm. we do. Mm -hmm. I mean every time we start talking about the success of Centum we end up talking about big things. Yes. And big can kill. Mm -hmm. So what has held the company together that it has been able to survive the audacious uh, strategy in the execution phase? I think it's a close-knit of the leadership team. Mm. They're all their family. Mm. They're like siblings, they squabble. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, everyone comes together mm. to to actually make sure that we achieve what we need to achieve. So Centum is very close knit. You'd expect it to be a very large company, but mm. if you look at the numbers in it, mm. it's it's pretty small, mm. but very close knit and very yeah. energetic. Yeah. 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 I mean I just want to imagine it must be very difficult for you to tell a story with so many dimensions. Absolutely. Uh, over and over. Mm -hmm. But for you, for, for you what it, it, does this make it, is it better to give a story like this one or I don't know? It's certainly a more interesting story because yeah. there's so many different facets of it. Mm -hmm. Um, and so many different successes on different platforms that mm. a lot of other companies are not able to iterate. Mm. I think that's the unique position we have. Mm. Centum is able to iterate success mm. across different sectors, mm. different industries, mm. and yet it has one core, mm. a very small, neat core that continues to dream and dream in color. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Continue to dream and dream in color. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this conversation. My name is Paz Moshiro Mugo, the Managing Director of Nabo Capital, and you're watching Invest in Africa.